Hello everybody, this is Tim from TriFan879 and today is start number 14 in the 1971 Tom Seaver Stratomatic Advanced uh, Replay of his starts. And today the Los Angeles Dodgers will be coming to Shea Stadium where Tom Seaver will face Don Sutton. And leading off for the Dodgers is Maury Wills. And 6-6, six, six, that's against the lefty. Line drive just past Ed Cranepool, and Maury Wills leads off with a single. And they will hold on Wills because of him being a B stealer. And here is Willie Crawford. Uh, the infield will be normal. Catcher X Grody is a 113, maybe in range, and it is. It's a ground ball right in front of the plate. He throws the second for one, but will not get Crawford. We'll call that a 2-6 on the fielder's choice. One down, and here's Willie Davis, the center fielder. And a 4-4 against the lefty is a fly ball center field. Coming in is Han. He will make the play two down. And here is Dick Allen. 3-5, and that's ripped to the gap in center field. Heading for third is Crawford. They weren't holding him on, so 17-19. Han is a zero arm. Of course they're going to try for Crawford at the plate. And he is safe. So Dick Allen with an RBI double, and the Dodgers take an early 1-0 lead. And here is Les Parker, the first baseman. And 6-8 is a swing and a miss, strike three. And that will retire the side, but not until the Dodgers take a 1-0 lead. Excuse me. And Sutton will face the shortstop, Bud Harrelson. Six five against a lefty, and that's oh cut off in the gap. One to eleven would have been a triple, but that's a fourteen. But Harrelson's on anyways, um, and they will hold him on because Harrelson would be a one to thirteen to steal. And here's Ken Boswell, the second baseman. And a 4-4 four, four is a fly ball to shallow right. Coming in is Crawford. He will make the play. And Harrelson goes back to first. And here's Ken Singleton, the right fielder. And he is 6-5. And this time he will not miss the triple split. That goes all the way to the wall and rattles around. Into score is Harrelson. And into third with a triple is Singleton. And the Mets tie it right back up at one. So, runner on third with one out. And here is Ed Cranepool. Three eleven ground ball to short. Ooh, does that score a run? Sorry, I am using super uh, super advanced running. I don't like the advanced running here. So, ground ball to short. Third. Yep. Wills will get it. He'll throw to first, but into score from third is Singleton. And the Mets take a 2-1 to one lead. And here is Art Shamsky, the left fielder. 3-6. Ground ball to first. Parker will take it to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. But not until the Mets respond with a two spot in the bottom half. We go to the second, the Mets lead 2 0, or 2 1, sorry. And here's Jim Lefevre, one of two future managers in this lineup. And a 4 9 against a lefty is a shortstop X. 13 is in range for. 
Harrelson, and he, that will retire the fever. And here is Duke Sims, the catcher. And one seven's a fly ball to center. Han is there. Well, that's two outs. And here's the other future manager, Bobby Valentine. Three six. And that's a high pop up. Crane pull calls for it. We'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. Mets, our Dodgers go in order here in the second, and we go the bottom half. Two to one, Mets. And here is Bob Espermonte, third baseman. Five, eight, that's second base. That's Lefevre, three and a, a 20 gets everybody, I believe. Yes, it does. So Lefevre makes the play, and that's one down. And here is Jerry Grody. One, six, ground ball back to the mound. Sutton underhands at the first, two down. And here is Don Hahn. And a 6 nine's is a swing and a miss, strike three. So, like the Dodgers in the top half, the Mets go in order here in the second. Score remains 2-1 Mets. Here's Seaver, he'll face Sutton, Wills, and Crawford. And Sutton uses pitcher hitting card number three. He is a weak hitting right-handed batter. And a 4-3 is a right field X, but that's not going to be playable for a singleton. 3 and a 1, and that'll get down, and Sutton is into second with a double. Oh, boy. And here is Maury Wills singled his first time up. 3-3, three, three, ground ball to third. Aspromonte looks Sutton back to second, throws to first in time. And here is Crawford. Reached on fielder's choice his first time up. And a 5-6 is a swing and a miss, straight three. So quickly two are out and runner on second. And the Mets leading two to one. And here's Willie Davis, blew out his first time up. And a 6-4 against the lefty fly ball to right. There is Singleton. He will make the play, and that will retire the side. Leadoff double does no damage. We go to the bottom half of the third. It's the Mets 2 and the Dodgers 1. Here's something to face Seaver. 3-10, outside ball four, so this might not be a good omen for the Dodgers here, walking the pitcher. And here's Bud Harrelson, and will not hold on Seaver. 3-11, eh, not so much. Ground ball to second, Lefevre to Wills to Parker, double play. Here's Boswell up, two out, nobody on, and the Mets leading two to one. And a two five base hit center field. So Boswell with a two out single. And here comes Ken Singleton, whose RBI triple brought home the first run. And a six three is a base hit center field. Uh, Boswell, 15, 17, 1 to 16, but won't make try to make the third out. All right, so that'll bring up Crane Pool. Grounded out, or RBI ground out his first time up. And a 1 4 is a field goal. Fly ball to left, and that will retire the side. The Mets strand two. And we go to the fourth, it's the Mets two and the Dodgers one. And 
And here is Dick Allen, whose RBI double accounts for the Lone Dodger run. And a 5-3. Again, that's a right field X. Or 5-3, sorry. Looked at 4-3. 5-3 is a pitcher X. Since it's not top three or bottom three, we go to the air check. He's an E6. E6 and a 9. That's a good play by Seaver getting off the mound. Throws the first in time. Here is Wes Parker. Four nine against a lefty. And that's a shortstop X. And because Harrelson's a one, a three, he will get to. And that'll retire Parker. Good play by Harrelson. And here's Jim Lefevre, two out, nobody on in the top of the fourth. And the Mets leading two to one. Three three ground ball in the hole. Boswell gets it, throws the first in time, and that'll retire the Dodgers here in the fourth. We go to the bottom half. Mets lead two to one. And here is Art Shamsky. Three nine ground ball in the hole and gets it as Lefevre throws the first in time. Here is Bob Aspermonte. Two nine, and that's a 13, so that'll get past the leaping Maury Wills and into left field for a base hit. And they won't hold Aspermonte on, and here is Jerry Grody. Hmm, a hit and run with one out. Please. All right, so. They're, because they're not holding on Grody, that moves him up a letter for hit and run. So an A hit and run. And here's the pitch from Sutton to Grody. And Aspermani takes off. And a seven. Oh boy, batter misses pitch. And then we have to roll the 20 sided. So Aspermonte is an E stealer. Starts off at. A one to seven. They were not holding them on, so you don't get the extra hold. Uh, and Sims is a zero, so one to seven. Aspermani will make it. If not, he's gunned down. And it's a four, and he steals it. Wow. So he maybe caught uh, something, a little napping there. And Grody stays on. He'll have a runner on, on second with one out. So here's the pitch to Grody. 3-4, swing and a miss, strike three. And here is Don Hahn with two outs and nobody on. And now they won't give him the four fingers to pitch the Seaver. And good choice, three sixes, a ground ball to short, and that will retire the side. We go to the top half of the fifth, two to one, Mets. And see where we'll face the bottom third of the order, Sims, Valentine, and Sutton. Sims flew out his first time up. One eight, swing and a miss, strike three. So third strike out of the day for Seaver. Here's Bobby Valentine. One five. That's an eight and cut off nicely in center field by Han. Holds Valentine to a single. And here is Sutton. They will bring the corners in expecting a bunt. Yeah, with one out, I'll, I'll let him try to bunt. So he'll be a C bunter. And here's the pitch, and Sutton squares around. C, a seven. And that's a good sacrifice. So we'll call that a sack three, four. And it's hit to the first baseman. Going to second is Valentine. And I'll bring up Maury Wills, one for two with a single today. 
And a 5-9 is a swing and a miss, strike three, and that'll retire the side. Go to the bottom half of the fifth, score is still 2-1 to one Mets. And Sutton will face Seaver, Harrelson, and Boswell here in the bottom half of the fifth. Two, three, ground ball to first. Parker gets it, takes it to the base himself. One down and back to the top of the order. Here's Harrelson. Six ten to center field. That's Davis. That's where you want to hit it. And a one and a five that's in range. And Davis will run it down. Two down. And here is Boswell. Two outs. Nobody on. And score is still two to one. And a five eleven is a first base X. If twelve is in range, that'll be a good play. But it is not, so we will go with Parker's air rating. He is an E6. And a 2. Okay, so for those that have not played, the 2 will allow you to roll the white die for to help out. But a 1 to 4, and he tries to throw it to Sutton covering overhand, and it goes into the dugout, and going to second is Boswell. We'll call that an error on Davis. He needed a five or a six if, if a two was rolled. He got a four. So Boswell is on second. And here is Ken Singleton. One, four, ground ball to second. Easy play for Lefevre. And that'll retire the side. So the error does no damage. We go to the sixth. Mets lead two to one. And here is Willie Crawford. And a one five swing and a miss, strike three. So five strikeouts on the day for Seaver. And here is Willie Davis. Two four. And that's ripped the deep right field. Looking up is Singleton, and that ball is... Oh, sorry, 2-4. Yep, and that ball is gone. Yep, that looked in the right column. Home run for Willie Davis. 1-12 uh, is a home run on a 2-4, and he hit a 5. So this game is now tied at 2. On the Davis home run, and here's Dick Allen. And a 5-8, that's to the second baseman, Boswell. And a 3 and a 13, that's the bottom half of the range, so he will make the play. Two down. And here is Wes Parker. Two outs, nobody on. Game is tied at two here in the top of the sixth. Four, six. Against the lefty, that's a ground ball to second. Boswell take care of that one. And that will retire the side, but not until the Dodgers tie the game at two. And Sutton will face Cranepool, Shamsky, and Aspromonte. There's Cranepool 0 for 2 on the day. And a 5 6. Swing and a miss, strike 3. So that is the. Third strikeout of the day for Sutton. And here's Art Shamsky. 3-8 swing and a miss, strike three. So two down here in the bottom of the sixth. Game tied at two. Here's Bob Espermonte. And a 1-6 scrum ball to Wills. Over to first, and that will retire the side. Going to the top of the seventh. Game is tied at two. And here is Jim Lefevre. Six, 
six, five, and that's a four. And that ball is hit deep to right field. Going back on it is Singleton. Goodbye, baseball. And the fever is normal against everybody, so Seaver not locating his pitches in the last couple innings. 1-11 is a home run, and that's a 4. So the Dodgers take a 3-2 lead, and here is Duke Sims. Uh, second base, I don't think Boswell is going to get to this, and he will not. So that will get by Boswell, and Sims is on with the single. And here's Bobby Valentine singled his last time up. To 10, ground ball to third. The second for one, the relay is not in time. And Valentine reaches on a fielder's choice. And they will bring the corners in and Sutton will bunt again. And he is a C bunter and here's the pitch. Sutton squares around. Doesn't beat this out, does he? No. Bang, bang, as Ron Juckett says, the bang banger at first. And Seaver just does get Sutton. Two or three, it'd have been safe. Four, he is out. So, runner on second, two down. Here's Maury Wills with the Dodgers leading three to two here in the top of the seventh. And a 6 8, and that's a swing and a miss, strike three. And Wills is down for the second time today. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. Senior, take me out to the ball games as the Dodgers now lead 3-2. to two. Okay, bottom third of the order for the Mets, Grody, Hahn, and Seaver. Two tens, a high pop-up. Called for it by Valentine, and he will make the play. One down. And here is Don Hahn. For six, that's a fly ball to left. There is Allen, and he will make the play. And here is Tom Seaver with up with two outs and nobody on, and that's trailing three to two. And a 2-9, that's a swing and a miss, strike three. So Sutton retires the side, and that was his point of weakness inning, so we will see how long we go with him. And here is Seaver at the top of the eighth. He'll face Crawford, Davis, and Allen. And in the bullpen loosening up is uh, Ray Sadecki and Danny Frisella. Five nine against the lefty. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Seventh strikeout for Seaver today. Here is Willie Davis. Three seven ground ball to second. Boswell takes care of that. Two down, and here is Dick Allen. 5-7, and that's another swing and a miss, strike three. So Seaver retires the side in order. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And the Mets trail 3-2. to two. And the Dodgers will get bullpen action of their own. Pete Mickelson and Joe Moeller are loosening in the pen. Uh, Jim Brewer may pitch the ninth if needed. All right, so here's Sutton to face Harrelson. Fourth time through the order for Sutton. And a 3-9, that's a swing and a miss, straight three, so... Sutton, six strikeouts for Sutton, and here is Ken Boswell, 
311. Ground ball to third. Easy play for Valentine. Two down, and here is Ken Singleton. Four, five. And against the lefty, that's ground ball to first. Parker takes it to the bag himself. And that'll set the Mets down in order. Go to the ninth. Dodgers lead three to two. And here is Wes Parker. Face Seaver. 3-5, outside ball four, and here comes the manager. He has faced 32 batters, and we'll bring in and we'll bring in Ray Sadecki. Okay, so here's Sadecki, the lefty, the face, Wes Parker. 4-3, and that's kind of what the doctor ordered. That's a ground ball to Short Harrelson over to Boswell on the crane pool. Double play. And here is Jim Lefevre, and Jim Brewer will be coming into the game for, in the ninth inning for the Dodgers. And a 6-5 against a righty. That's a swing and a miss strike three. So two batters for three outs for here for Sadecki in the ninth. We go to the bottom half. Dodgers lead three to two. Here comes Jim Brewer. They're not going to take the chance that Sutton's going to run out of gas. But he did pitch eight wonderful innings. And lefty-lefty matchup, he'll face Cranepool, Shamsky, maybe Shamsky, and Aspromonte, maybe. 3-8 against the lefty, ground ball to first, takes it to the bag himself, one down, and they will call Shamsky back. Uh, Tommy Agee, actually, yeah, the left, the who can hit a lefty. And Tommy Agee can hit a lefty. So Tommy Agee will come in and pinch hit and stay in the game. Actually, well, they'll work something out. All right, here's Tommy Agee to face Jim Brewer. Five, and that's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Last hope. Do they want to... And they will have Tim Foley pinch hit for Aspromonte. And here's the pitch for Brewer to Foley. Oops, sorry about that for the light. 1-7, and that's outside ball four. So a little maybe ninth inning magic here. And here's Jerry Grody. You won't hold on, hold on as Bermonte. 4-8, that's a swing and a miss, strike three, and that's your ball game. So, the Mets fall here today by the score of 3-2, to two, and spoiler alert that have not watched the video from yesterday, this is the second consecutive loss for Seaver, so he is now 9-3 and three on the season, and that'll, that'll take care of business here at Shea. All right, so the next game, the Philadelphia Phillies come to Shea Stadium, 
And it will be Rick Wise against Tom Seaver in that game. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you hit the like button. And if you're watching for the first time or if you've watched multiple times and you're not yet subscribed, uh, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good day, everybody.